Hi, little learners. This is Miss Patty from the Cyberium. I'm so happy you're able to be with us this week. I hope that you had a wonderful week. Are you ready to go ahead and read some more out of this world books with me? Well, I have a great one for you today. Uh, but before we start, uh, do you remember the song we sang last week, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, and we did some hand movements with it? How about doing that together before we start? Ready, set, go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. You remembered the hand movement? And if you didn't get to see it last week, uh, you'll go ahead. We'll do this a couple of times for you to practice too. So it's been really beautiful uh, these nights here in South Florida. The stars have been brilliant at night and we've been able to see all the beautiful um, galaxies and stars and the moon when it's le it's less of a moon which is a new moon we can see a lot more of the stars so i wanted to go ahead and pick some books that i think you would really like and um would you like to go ahead and go one day and be an astronaut and kind of get closer to the galaxies closer to the stars well let's go ahead and read a book by i want to be an astronaut by brian barton Let's see, let's read it together. I always show you the title page. So this is the front cover, the front cover, right, in the front, and it always has a picture and the author's name. And then when you open, you see the title page. And this one is published by Harper Collins. So we're gonna say thank you, Harper Collins, for giving us permission to be able to read this book together today. I want to be an astronaut, a member of the crew. Let's get that straight. And fly on the shuttle into outer space. I want to be up there. on a space mission. And have ready to eat meals. And sleep in zero gravity. So they have to go ahead and see here how she puts her hands down and just her body just kind of moves up because there isn't any gravity, nothing holding them down so they go ahead and have to go ahead and make sure that I guess they kind of tie themselves down but look at him he's sleeping upside down he could just kind of float that way right inside of his bed and walk around in space how much fun and help fix a satellite we have a satellite station out there right now where people are working and sometimes we have rocket ships that go up and take the astronauts so that they can fix things on the space station and do lots of experiments too. And build a factory in orbit. See how they're out? Sometimes they have to tie themselves, right? Because there's no gravity just to make sure and they get to fix things in the middle of space. That's wow, so adventurous, right? I want to be up there a while and then come back to Earth. I just want to be an astronaut and visit outer space. That's wonderful. So maybe one day you get to visit outer space with your family and that would be so much fun, so adventurous. Hi, we're going to go ahead and sing another song together, and it's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We sang it last week, uh, but just in case you didn't, weren't with me last week, 
then you can go ahead and always click on the video and look at the books that were read the previous week so you don't miss out on anything. Uh, last week we went ahead and sang Zoom, Zoom, Zoom and the hand movement on that one is very, very simple. You can do it. It's just like if you're shooting up to the moon, you could go really high, as high as you want. You can go as low as you want or as high. So ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Terrific, excellent. That's a kind of a nice dancing song too, right? Definitely, got a good beat. We're gonna go ahead and read our second out of this world book, which I think you are going to love. It is called or titled, There's No Place Like Space, and it's written by Tish Ravy. And we are going to look at, of course, the title page again. And here it is. And it is, There's No Place Like Space, the title again. And it is published by Random House. And again, like I said, I always love to thank the publisher for giving us permission to go ahead and read this book together today. There's No Place Like Space. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We visit planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. <laughs> There's Cat in the Hat, and he has a special ship, spaceship that he has made. He has the hand over here waving, and Fish is like, what is he doing? Oh my goodness. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see. The planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. Have to wear a coat at night. <laughs> you see how she's freezing? She's sleeping over here. And that's at night, kind of darker. And this is daytime, a little lighter. And it's so hot here and so cold here. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus, really, really, really hot. Nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. It usually is in the 80s here on a regular day in South Florida. Sometimes in the summer, very hot, right? Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is the third from the sun. It is our planet Earth. Yes, you got that right, Earth. Earth, it spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it will never, ever stop. And this says here, he's holding up a sign. It says home, sweet home, with an arrow pointing to our planet Earth. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the Earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the Earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. It's like we're taking a ride. We're not feeling it that much, right? Kind of like in an amusement park, going round and round, but we don't feel it. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. See all the little planets? And then this one is Saturn. And then the one that's open shows how big it is compared to the other one. It is really big. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think 
It could float in an ocean and not even sink. Wow. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show, so, show some to you. Neptune, planet eight, is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say Mallory. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And then the first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. So if you say Mallory, Mercury, Valerie, Venus, Emily is Earth, Mickles, Mars, Just, Jupiter, Saved, Saturn, Up. Each of these words start with the same letter. Uranus, 999, Neptune, Nichols. So what this is, is you have to remember this on this side. If you say, if you remember that saying, or that sentence, then you can remember sometimes the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth planet. So Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up 999 nickels. Can you say that with me? Okay. Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up 999 nickels. <laughs> so sometimes we pick a sentence that have the letters that start with the same letter of a word we want to remember and it kind of helps us with our memory with it. So Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up 999 nickels and that's Mallory is Mercury, Valerie will remind me Venus, Emily Earth, Mickles Mars, just it reminds me of Jupiter, and each of the letters are underlined, saved, Saturn, up, Uranus, and 999 N nickels. <laughs> I would do that sometimes to remember things. This is a little bit harder because there's a lot of planets, but I know you can, when you go ahead and get to learn them, you'll go ahead and learn them and get to know all the planets' names and you'll be able to memorize them if you don't know it already. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. They are called constellations when you look up in the sky. There are many different ones, patterns, that are like the Great Bear and Orion and the Bull and the Lion. It's a star dot to dot. Have you ever played the game dot to dot? Well, you can do that with your eyes as you look up to the skies. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter called Orion. I think I saw Orion yesterday. And I saw another one called the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, and I think I saw something called the Seven Sisters. The skies were really beautiful yesterday. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that our favorite one, that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called, what do you think? It rhymes with one, more or less. What, what is it called? The sun. We cannot live without the sun. That is the biggest star. I love to see the sun in the morning and I love to see the sun set at night. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon, but first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun light. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon car called the Lunar Rover. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Uh, and a thing too wants to be one in fact. So 
to I. The universe is a mysterious place. We, on, we are only just learning what happens in space. So I bought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back to the stars and take things one and things two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new. And who do we have up there? It's Cat in the Hat. And we can go ahead and make a constellation around him. So it's all the little dots that are around him are the stars. And there's a pattern that shows him up there. The end. Okay, little learners. Well, I hope you enjoyed the books we read today. Remember in South Florida, we have beautiful nights. Remember to look up to the night sky and think about all the things we learned today about the planets and about constellations. And now we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Uh, but if you're not standing, I would love for you to stand because we are going to dance a little bit together and we're gonna say goodbye. Are you ready? Let's go. So will you clap? Can you and two, three. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. See you later, see you next week. Bye.